to the cradle. It's Misty with Kids to Cradles Nursery. Um, welcome back if you've been here for a long time and welcome if you are new here. There are a lot of new subscribers. We are about to hit our four year anniversary on YouTube and I'm about to hit 15,000 subscribers. So if you've been liking my channel and you like my content, please smash that subscribe button and help me out. It is free to subscribe. Today, we actually do have a really special box opening. My next three videos will be box openings of babies that I am adding to my collection. I'm so excited for this doll. I'm so excited to announce this doll to you guys. Okay, but first, first, let's talk about something because there's been some misconceptions that I've seen on Facebook. So let's start with this beautiful baby that I created. This is uh, the Silicone Courtney a Sleep Kit. Um, I've seen a lot of misinformation out there on silicone dolls on Facebook recently. And one of them is that these dolls are only available in vinyl. And a lot of artists are being accused of being scammers by claiming that they are silicone. Look, she's silicone, I promise. She's very squishy. Um, this baby is available through Bountiful Baby, this specific kit in vinyl and silicone. There are some kits out there that are made in both. Um, there's a lot of sculpting artists that offer their vinyl kits in partial silicone like this one. Like for instance, the Peaches kit by Cassie Brace. She is now sold out, limited edition in vinyl, but she is still available in partial silicone. So you can get a Peaches in partial silicone, which is amazing. I really want that baby. Um, this kit is produced by Bountiful Baby. She does have a certificate of authenticity. It is copyrighted by Bountiful Baby. Look, Courtney asleep and it's real born silicone. So it's legit, it's copyrighted. Bountiful Baby makes them. Um, so I just wanna make sure we clear that up first. Also, this little girl is still available on my website and is searching for her new family. So if you are interested in adopting her, she's available on my official website, kidstocradlesnursery.com. If you wanna be guaranteed to get a legit doll that I have made, that is my only website. That is the only place where I sell. I will list it below. So I've been super excited to introduce this doll to you guys. Um, so that you guys can also out there stay within your budget and buy an affordable full body silicone doll that is manufactured. It's not hand painted by an artist like this sweet baby girl, but I think it would still be a fun addition to your collection. I'm super excited to introduce it to you. So I do have this adorable little car seat from Paradise Galleries that I received about a month ago. And it is too small for my bigger toddler babies, but I've been saving it for just the perfect newborn size baby. Um, um, I think this baby will be a really good addition to anybody's collection. If you like to collect all kinds of dolls, if you've never had a silicone doll before, it might be nice for you to try this doll out before you really invest in a much more expensive um, <clears throat> hand-painted silicone art doll. Also, I think this would be great for beginning collectors and younger collectors. So if you have a younger collector in your family who likes to collect dolls and really wants a full-body silicone doll, this might be a great option for you. Um, I do have some clothes for this baby that are gender neutral. I don't know what size this baby's gonna wear, so I have some cloth diapers, little hats, uh, this little outfit, this little top. I like the crossover like ties here, it's so cute. Um, I love the cross body tops. Uh, I have some a different size hat, some smaller pants. I do have some little white ones. I got all of these from McPherson's Arts and Crafts. That's their little symbol there. Their emblem is uh, embroidered on that. I do have a smaller little preemie diaper just in case. Uh, some mittens. I have a little onesie. It's a preemie size onesie. This is a preemie sized doll. So just so you know in advance, some other little cloth diapers just in case and another little gender neutral 
matching um, top here. And I can mix and match all of these. I have this cute little micro preemie like little bottle. Um, I think it's a two ounce bottle. And a blanket. Gender. All right, so let's get started. Let's also clear up some misinformation as well that I've seen in the comment section of my last video. Paradise Galleries, Ashton Drake, Dolls, um, Barjusa Babies, Behringer Babies. All the, there's a lot of babies out there that are manufactured babies that are highly collectible and they are well known in our community and they are well accepted as long as it's from a legit company that is acknowledging the artist. So let's clear that up. I can do a different video on that if I need to. Let me know in the comments below if I need to do that, if you're confused and I need to clear anything up, or you can email me. Let's break into this box. These babies always come in these beautiful collectible boxes. So when you open up your baby, I don't know if there's any little surprises inside, but um, this box I would keep in case you want to store your baby for later or you want to uh, sell your baby but this little baby is called rosie and this is the first uh full body silicone baby that i've ever seen offered by them um since i've been collecting with them but i have owned some partial silicone dolls by ashton drake if you want to head over to ashton drake galleries you can check them out they do have um newborn sized partial silicone dolls over there, but they're a little more pricey. They run about 300. This baby only ran about 150. So this is a certificate of authenticity. Like I said, these are collectible dolls. They are numbered. And this baby is only number 21. So I got a really low number because I hopped right on as soon as I saw that knew I had to introduce this baby to you guys on my channel. And so it says, this is to certify that this doll is an authentic handcrafted edition from Paradise Galleries. Rosie is the artwork of Pat Moulton and bears the artist's signature of approval. So they paid her for her work. She got paid and now they own the rights to this doll. So this doll can be reproduced by Paradise Galleries, copyrighted, can you see it's copyright there? So you know there you've got your um, legit certificate here. Um, there is a 30 day money back guarantee if you don't love the doll and there's a one year manufacturer's warranty offered as well. I have dealt with um, their website it has an easy number for customer service. You can even talk to somebody online. Their customer service has always been great to me. I've never had any issues there. So. There's that. So let's get this beautiful baby out. Okay, first of all, this is super cool. She has a little pacifier that's magnetic. So if you have a pacemaker, this doll isn't the doll for you. Apparently they did somewhere in her manufacturing process, inserted a magnet so she can take a magnetic pacifier, which I think is really cool. Um, but there are so many babies out there that don't have magnets in them. So if you do have a pacemaker, there's so many other dolls to choose from. So this baby is well tied in for the journey. very tight in okay so she has three little ties and she has the sweetest rose colored blanket that she comes wrapped in she has plastic on her head we'll remove that um this little swaddle has little rainbows on it and she has a cute little matching bow so it's like she's fresh out of the NICU you guys oh she does have some powder on her but I'm still gonna bathe this little baby she's so cute she already comes with a little diaper so you don't have to worry about finding preemie two diapers that fit but you can find real preemie size two diapers on ebay um they look like this they're by pampers we use these in the NICU and these are preemie two and I think they would fit her perfectly so I'm gonna put her in that I do see that she is powdered, so she's not super shiny, but you will want to wash this baby just in plain warm water and get her nice and rinsed off. Dry her off really good with a soft baby towel. And then you're gonna wanna powder this baby. I am going to dress her. 
She is anatomically correct. And she is about 14 inches long. So she is definitely a preemie sized baby. But I think from looking at her, look at those amazing little feet. Look at the details. She's very detailed. And I really want to paint this baby. I definitely am looking at reborning her. She's got some little painted toenails with some fine tipping, which is beautiful. I've been working on perfecting that. Look at her hand. I won't even have to do her nails. Her lips are done beautifully. I won't have to touch her lips. I will just probably gloss them up. I will add some little eyelashes on her, but she is worth every single penny. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. I would let you know if I didn't think this baby was worth it. Uh, I think she is absolutely worth it. And this would be a really good starter baby for anybody. Um, to be honest, I think once I wash her up and dress her, like not even a starter baby. For those of you collectors who like to collect all kinds of dolls like I do out there, if you're looking for a legit manufactured um, full body silicone doll, you're gonna wanna add this little baby to your collection. Look at the wrinkles. I think this kit is so cute. I think the sculpting artist did such a cute job and I don't even think she needs to be painted, but I think I really want to paint her because she's so stinking cute. I think this is gonna be fun to do a little journey and um, reborn this doll. Basically, I will be reborning her. So she will be an official reborn doll because she will be hand painted by me. I will give you guys another video shortly on the history of reborn dolls and how that all came about and why they're called reborns in case you don't already know but I will plan to reborn this baby. So I don't want this video to be too, too long, but she's stinking cute. I'm gonna go rinse her down, dry her off very carefully, and give her a little bit of powder. You can use um, cornstarch powder on this little baby. Once she is reborn by me uh, in silicone, I will use silicone velvet matting powder on her only after that point to preserve her paint. But for right now, if you just have this little baby in your collection, as is, you can use cornstarch powder. So I just wanted to show you guys too that when I did bathe this little baby, that uh, once I got the powder off of her, I could see that she did have some creasing work done on her and she did have a lot more blushing than what I expected. Um, and by the way, these preemie two diapers, if you wanna use like legit diapers on her, these little preemie two diapers fit really well. So she looks really cute and you can even, it's got like the umbilical cord cut out. Um, you can either tuck that in, which is what we do in the nursery. Um, if you're new here, I was a NICU nurse. You can fold this down, but she doesn't have like a cord clamp. <laughs> like a newborn would in the NICU. So we don't have to do this, but I just thought it was really cute that you could do this. Okay, so I'm just showing you some cute features. Plus I wanna show you guys that she can take a passy, but um, she does have, let me take you down. She does have really good tipped nails. You can see the color in her creases and her blushing on the tops of the feet on the tops of the hand, um, on the chest, even on her little forehead, there's some blushing and some cheeks, um, but they did do the creasing. Look at the creasing there. I was really shocked. Um, they did a really good job. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, so I will be reborning this baby and giving her some more realistic details like veining, mottling, more coloring, blushing, but the color of the silicone is nice and they did blush the little knees. Um, I was really shocked. Now, once you put powder on them and you're gonna need to in order to dress them, it's gonna cover a lot of that up. So I'm gonna paint her and give her a lot more color so that whenever she's matted, she looks beautiful and you can see all her colors. That's just the benefits of having a detailed art baby. So I do have some honey bug pacifiers that probably have stronger magnets. Let's see if this little honey bug pacifier um, you can get these on Etsy, by the way, and you have a magnet that you can flip around in here. 
Okay, so this magnet is opposite of her magnet. You never know what side of the magnet you're gonna get in your baby. So Honeybug makes these pacifiers where you pop off the top, you flip over the little magnet, the top clicks back on, and you can use that on your baby. Look at that, she can take the Honeybug Passies. So these Honeybug Passies are in preemie. They also make really, really tiny ones in micro preemie, but I don't think you're gonna wanna use the micro because um, I use these for my vinyl baby and I'm not gonna use those on her. These will be her magnets. By the way, I'm gonna keep her name Rosie. But uh, the Honeybug magnet has a stronger magnet in it, so it stays better than the one that she comes with. And I have them in all different colors, pink, yellow. And then I'm going to save these smaller ones. I have a white one, a blue one, and a yellow one for my Micro Preemie Vinyl Baby Mateo. So you can get any color passies you want for this baby off of Etsy. And they look so cute on this baby. Also, I was just gonna show you guys what I use. So this is actually silicone velvet matting powder that I buy special for the babies that I create. I just happen to find some um, in the little bathtub, bath supplies that I have for babies. But you can use regular cornstarch powder um, on this baby, it's not a $5,000 doll, so I would not worry about it. I was told cornstarch is fine, um, especially on the manufactured babies. But this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm going to use. Uh, I put it in this little baby container that you can also get at Dollar Tree for only a buck. And this little e.l.f. brush. You want a nice, clean, new, soft, very soft makeup brush. So I'm going to powder this little baby down. Look at how cute the little pink honey bug passy fits this baby. How adorable. So you're just going to want to lightly powder your baby um, to keep the baby from being sticky when you go to put the clothes on. Um, there is a pour spout from when the baby was poured. It's very minor. And like I said, you're going to put a bow or a hat on this baby. It'll cover it right up. I think I'm gonna root hair on this baby when she's done, along with the eyelashes to help with that. Also, as I was powdering this baby, I wanna show you something with uh, Par Paradise Galleries and Ashton Drake dolls. This is the artist's signature on the back of the head, and it also has Paradise Galleries logo and a copyright sign. So that is also how you know that this doll is a legit sculpt. The artist's name is on it along with the manufacturer and it is copyrighted. So I do have this cute little car seat from Paradise Galleries. It was about $50. It's uh, a little seat, but it can also turn into a little carrier for your baby as well. So I'm just gonna put this little baby in here. I unbuckled it already and we're just gonna see if she fits. Oh, look at that. And this little preemie outfit from McPherson to fit just fine. I think once I start reboarding this baby, I will try to find some cute little girly outfits on McPherson's for this little one. So we're gonna buckle this baby in like she is going home from the NICU. This cute Paradise Galleries blanket will fit perfectly over her in the little car seat so we can keep her warm because it's a little chilly outside and her beautiful honey bug pacifier is fitting so adorable i'm ready to change it already over to pink so she looks nice and girly i have a cute little bottle that i can fill with some fake milk and put a little preemie sized no hole nipple on this bottle um, i'm gonna work on that uh, later on today. I do get no hole nipples off of eBay if you don't feel like putting silicone in your baby bottles. But I think that would be so cute for her to go home from the hospital. We're going to carry this baby home and introduce her to all her siblings. How sweet is she, you guys? So there are affordable dolls 
of all kinds out there for every budget. And also you guys, Paradise Galleries does have a payment plan option where they will have you make the first payment just like I do. They send you your baby or your car seat or whatever. You get to enjoy it and then you continue to make the payments. I believe they break it up into four monthly payments. You pay the first one today, you get to enjoy your baby, and then over the next few months you pay off the babies. I believe that orders over $100 are free shipping and if they break up your payments on this baby, you're looking at about $35 a month, $37 a month-ish um, to break up those payments. So you pay $30, $37 today-ish and your baby is on the way. This baby came within seven days, seven business days. I got this baby so fast. So if you're interested in this baby, go check out this authentic little baby on paradise galleries they are at www.paradisegalleries.com go check it out and get yourself a cute little baby to snuggle for your collection or for a younger collector um i wanted to say too that this baby feels like it's made with ecoflex 20 so you don't have to worry it's not a super super soft pour uh, silicone. This baby uh, can be handled by kids a little bit more. Um, you may just want to watch your younger collectors with it and explain to them not to pull on the fingers because the fingers can be pulled off. Silicone, you got to be a little more gentle. So I wouldn't say that this is for a super young collector. I'm thinking like ages eight and up, but as a grandparent or parent, you can determine how your kids um, or younger collectors, should I say, handle and take care of their toys. It's up to you to decide on that. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this cute little video. I was so happy to be able to introduce to you guys an affordable baby. There's babies out there for everyone. There's babies out there for every collector. Just make sure that you are buying from a legit company. That's all I'm saying. I love you guys. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of those cute little squishy babies and take care of each other, guys. Be nice out there. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.